There are moments when reality becomes more comical than anything um, a satirist could devise. I'm going to put this a screen news article on the screen and let you read the title, and I think you'll see why. Boris Johnson, former Prime Minister, host GB News Show. Now, I'm no oil painting, but whoever chose that shot of, of Boris is not the most flattering shot in the morning uh, ever chosen. From the Wurzel Gummidge files would seem to cover it. <sighs> former Boris Prime Minister Boris Johnson has signed up to join TV channel GB News. Well, Boris, I hope you do better than you did on some of your early careers in news where you more or less made articles up and got called on that. Johnson, who stepped down as an MP earlier this year, will work for the news channel as a presenter, presenter, program maker and commentator. Can't wait to see this. <laughs> Should be entertaining in a certain way anyway. He will play a key role in coverage of the UK and the US elections next year. Oh, that I can't wait to see. And will hold a series showcasing the power of Britain around the world, the broadcaster said. Presumably he'll travel with a suitcase full of magnums of champagne, uh, maybe as part of the conditions of the job. He promised to share his unvarnished views on a range of topics. I'm sure we'll be thrilled by that. Johnson, who also writes a column for the Daily Mail, will start in the new year. He is the latest Conservative politician to join the broadcaster following former Business Secretary Jacob Rees-Mogg, also known as the, the man whose name is now found next to the word smug in the Oxford English Dictionary. Pi Deputy Chairman Lee Anderson, soon to release a, a cookbook for people on a budget. And husband and wife MPs Esther McVeigh and Philip Davis. In a video posted on X, formerly Twitter, the former MP said, PM said, I'm excited to say that I'm shortly going to be joining you on GB News. I mean, this GB News goes from ridiculous to the ridiculousness. First, you had Wooten and um, Father Robinson walking out uh, in that strange occurrence a few weeks ago. Anyway, I'll keep reading. I'm going to be giving this remarkable, well, I suppose you could use that word, remarkable covers a, a wide range of things. Remarkable new TV channel, my unvarnished views on everything from Russia, China, the war in Ukraine, how we meet all these challenges. In a statement, he said, I will be talking about the immense opportunities for global Britain. Oh, my God. No, no words for it. As well as the challenges and why our best days are yet to come. I'm sure they, I'm sure you may think so if you've imbibed enough vintage champers there, Boris. Johnson resigned as Prime Minister in 2022 following a mass revolt by ministers over his leadership. This summer, he stood down as MP for Uxbridge and South Ryslip in protest after Parliament's Privileges Committee found he had deliberately misled the House of Commons over COVID breaches in Downing Street during lockdown. I can't really say much more about this but i will find it absolutely hilarious to watch him when he does turn up on there it's not a channel i'd normally watch because it's it's almost like a living version of the daily mail and it gets quite shouty and silly and it doesn't and it hurts my brain to watch for more than half an hour maximum but boris boris on there will be i'm sure entertaining at least for a short period I'm sure he may, he'll he probably turn up to give him he, us his great views on many subjects. Hopefully he'll come, he'll come on the air tanked up, which would be even better.